Hey guys, my name is Jackie from Nairobi, Kenya, and uh, I am a filmmaker <laughs> or a student of film, and welcome to Book Lovers. So reading to me is, um, is a way of, you know, getting to know what is out there in the world, expanding my thinking, my perspective, and even relaxing, especially if I'm like feeling tense about something. I just take a book and then I'll just disappear. And by the time I'm coming back to it, well, I, I'm, I'm feeling more energetic. So yeah, so reading is really therapeutic. <laughs> so I'm currently reading a book by Dale Carnegie and the title is How to Win Friends and Influence People. And it's so interesting because this book talks about why you shouldn't criticize people and complain. So it gives you what happens when you do criticize people and when you don't. So it also gives you a window of seeing, okay, if you do criticize, this is what you're setting yourself up for. And if you don't, this is also what you get from people. So it's a very, I, I like the perspective on interacting with people. Um, and then it also talks about why you should give sincere and honest appreciation, not just when you want something from someone. Yeah, and then there's a very interesting um, there's a very interesting quote. I think I wrote it down somewhere. Oh yeah, so it's a uh, I I I really can't tell you who said it, but it says that a great man shows greatness by the way he treats little men. Yeah, so it's more of how do you treat people who maybe don't have much to give back to you? You know, like the waiters, the janitors, the watchmen. How you treat those people really just brings out who you truly are as a person. It also talks about how you'll arouse, like how you arouse interest in other people. You know, the kind of conversations you pick up, don't have self-centered conversations. Like, you know, just be broad, have an open mind and be a good listener. Not just, don't listen to one to respond, listen to understand what the other person is telling you. So yeah, so basically that's what the book is about. So if you're struggling with communication, like I highly recommend this book. I really don't have a specific genre of uh, books I love reading, but of late, uh, <laughs> this is gonna sound very interesting, but my all time favorite is um, the Bible. Really, like for real, for real, like the stories in there are really, really interesting. And then one book that I read back in, <laughs> is gonna be so interesting i read back in um form form three it got me suspended from geography class like almost six times because i'd be fond reading it it's by daniel Steele. changes yeah it, it's it's <laughs> that book was so big yo like it was like almost 600 pages if i recall but i couldn't place that book down i just couldn't changes by daniel Steele is my <laughs> all-time favorite book I'm yet to find a book that would actually match the feelings and the emotions I got while reading that book. Yeah. So I, I just, if you guys have any recommendations, I'm really open to them because, hey, yo, <laughs> that book did a number on me. My favorite author of all time <laughs> has to be Danielle Steele. It really just has to be her. I, I mean, it's it's Danielle Steele. Um, and Paul, 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 the author of, uh, or rather the writer of the book of Corinthians. <laughs> yeah, so Paul, if Paul falls under an author, yeah, and Daniel Steele. Disclaimer, my current read is an ebook. And is it out of choice or preference? It's choice. Because if it was a preference, I'd have gone for a paperback. Like, guys, I, I, I can't I can't insist more on how I struggle with ebooks. I really can't. Because for paperbacks, as long as I have spent money on that book, trust you me, I will read that book to the last page. Yeah. But I think for ebooks, I'm I'm, I'm much slower, I'm more accommodating. You know, like I feel like it's never going anywhere. And I, I don't know, like I feel compelled to um i'm more consistent with paperbacks than i am with ebooks so that would be my preference like if i if i could have it my way if my pocket would allow me i would never read an ebook <laughs> like i'm serious guys I, I i wouldn't my reading habits i i read anytime i really can for sure i wouldn't tell you like 
I have specific morning, evening. Well, unless it's commuting time, then of course, I'm either reading a book or <laughs> sleeping <laughs> in a matter too. <laughs> so I don't really have like a very stringent um, reading, you know, plan. It's whenever I can, if I have a few minutes. I even read in the toilet, guys, like, yeah, I'm those people. So I think that's where the ebooks come in. Like, if I go in with a phone, I'm like, oh, yeah, I left a very interesting chapter, then I, I proceed on. So, but during this quarantine, you know, you'd expect because you have so much time, so much time to read, you'd read more. It's not happening for me. I won't even lie. I'm reading when I remember, when I feel like. So I've, I've, there are times I've had to actually force myself, like, Jackie, today you have to read. So I'd set aside maybe um, 20 to 45 minutes. Yeah. And that's, the, that's it. That's it. And um, I think also the books have also changed. <clears throat> I'm, re I'm, I'm leaning, I find myself leaning towards things I want to work on more, not just for the sake of reading. Like I told you, my last read is on communication. And it's because it's something I felt I needed to work on. So I feel like during this period, I'll be leaning towards things I intend and I'm really purposing to work on. So if I need to read about interior design, if I find myself interested in interior design, I will start reading books on interior design or something along those lines. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's where I am during this quarantine period. Yeah. So reading tips. <clears throat> I think one that has actually worked for me, I'll tell you what has worked for me. Getting someone who you'll be accountable to, like an accountable partner. You know, someone who keeps on your toes, like, okay, uh, let's say, for example, Washara, I intend on reading six books for the whole year. Uh, that means uh, for every two months, I need to be done with one book. You need to have that one person who will be checking in on you. Like, okay, you said you're going to read two books in one hour, uh, one book in two months. Have you done it? Yes or no? So reading tip one, get an accountability partner if you can. Two, read, read according to your interest. Like, be curious. Be curious about stuff. Don't, don't be so, um, you know, um, close-minded on what you want to read. Like, I feel the broader you read, the better your perspective will be about stuff, about people, you know, even your way of thinking just changes. And then read when you can, uh, but it's, it's, you're better off getting a routine. Trust you me, it's, you're better off getting a routine. <laughs> Easier said than done, of course. <laughs> but if you can't get a routine, if it's in the morning, um, maybe um, after you've woken up or when you're commuting or just, you know, but have like have a routine. I think it makes your reading more consistent and you'll probably even get to enjoy it better. And then last thing, um, I think books, it doesn't have to be expensive, but they, they're like those in my bookshops on the streets i can't even tell you a specific place it's called uh dominion i think dominion house somewhere on tobias street there's a guy there who sells books that are of all genres you know for how much a hundred bob guys a hundred bob so no more excuses <laughs> so anyway yeah so i think that's that's about it for the tips i I haven't lived um, on earth for so long to have so many reading tips. <laughs> yeah, so it was really nice. Um, and I hope more people will actually embrace reading because it's make it more of a culture and your lifestyle. You, you, will, you will thank yourself. <laughs> you will thank yourself sooner than you think. So, yeah. So, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me here on Book Lovers. Please like, subscribe, Washara Keha. And until next time, bye.